What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Rare Drop Roleplay Presents Meteorian Core, Episode 5. Woo! Nailed it. Take one. Take one. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> first take. Amazing. Yeah, first try. Guys. Always. First yeah. try. Remix. <laughs> Only people here early get to see the good stuff. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for showing up for our pretty show. Yeah! <laughs> Everything else guys. is just lost on the cutting room floor. Never to be seen again. <laughs> Not even once. Appreciate y'all hyping it in the chat early today. Let's go. Y'all been on it, man. Ah. Uh, we have action to get to, so we're going to keep it short. Who's got announcements this week that they want to let the folks know about? D20 uh, deathmatch this Sunday. Sorry, I just went for it. No, go for it. Take the initiative. Do I it. Just, yeah. <laughs> We've got that this Sunday evening, 9 p.m. It's going to be amazing. We've got Pie Sharp versus Stella Luna, and Mudcat's going to be there, too. That's fair. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, uh, assuming that everything goes well and the, uh, the sponsor for the video actually gets back to us, one of the first proper little teases of Dynasty is going to be in a video that I'm dropping tomorrow. And that is exciting because that's only like the last year of work. So yeah, it, it was real cool. Don't miss it if you've been excited for anything leading up to Witch Queen nonsense and you liked the trailer that they dropped the other, like, last, yeah, like three days ago now. Uh, Go ahead and uh, wait for this because uh, it will give you the tiniest geeked snippet. Uh, and Beck has already seen the, the the a little bit of what I'm previewing. Uh, you've I think you've seen the the, yes. the whole thing. So like yeah, you know, you, amazing. You, you know you know which one it is, and you know what what what's coming. It's exciting. You it's got the stuff. power. Don't miss this. Oh, it's so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. So yeah, there's that. Love it. Anybody else need to shout something out that they're doing this week? I'm staying in my house because I'm supposed to get like 12 inches of snow. <laughs> Dude, nice. I would make all the snow ice cream. My nephews are jealous. What snow ice cream? What? You've never made snow ice cream? You've never made no. snow ice cream? I'm from Texas, dude. Let's say, don't worry, I have an either from Louisiana. Yo, oh. just, just get a, just get a snow maker, uh, ice cream maker, and instead of ice, you just put some snow in it. Yeah, like it's it's a bowl, of vanilla, sugar, like, oh my god, it's the greatest thing ever. And some cr some heavy cream. You eat that fresh snow. Oh man, my nephews are furious. We haven't had a large enough snow to make it yet. Oh. That's a cool. It's but not good. lemon. Right. <laughs> a different colored snow is not. Oh, you can totally, snow. you can totally make some yellow snow. That'd be great. I mean, we always would dye it. We'd just take food coloring and be like, mm, look at the snow I'm eating. Yeah, good you times. You don't want to share, sure. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the gross is when it's been like five days since it snowed, and you look out there like, I kind of like to make some more snow ice cream, but that's a really good way to get sick. <laughs> oh, if it's been sitting there a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> Deer have had some trots through it. Yeah, you're like, oh, I think that's a patch that's been untouched. You tap it, it's frozen <laughs> over the top. You're like, hmm, maybe if I pull off the protective layer of ice crystals. <laughs> Good stuff. Digging for snow. <sighs> oh. Before uh, I get myself any any deeper in my Midwesternisms, picking up where we left off last week, as you guys had an eventful trot through the rest of the Fester Woods, once again relying on Thomas the Turkey to be your North Star, while well, being able to procure boar meat has become that undead turkey specialty. Getting out of the woods was not. You guys were put under extreme stress. Several points of exhaustion have been delved out. But eventually, you were able to use Xanran flying high above the forest canopy. to Get your eye on the prize and finally find your way out of the cloakwood. Hitting the main highway that's headed to Baldur's Gate, 
you run into a few country boys and their merchant carts headed towards the city after some interesting dialogue between Toph, Hobbs, Reeves, Arthur, and Sleeping Shaw. You guys have decided to hitch up for the night and you strengthen numbers. However, Biddy and Jacob just couldn't resist getting a little peek from up top the cliffside, wondering exactly what was going on inside this unmarked carriage where music boxes were playing throughout the night. Finally, curiosity getting the better of Jacob, Misty stepping inside after Reeves had poked out to reset one of the music boxes after multiple went off. Now sitting atop the chest of a hairy knoll, sound asleep by the music coming from inside. However, Hobbs just caught that flash of magic out of the corner of his eye and sees you currently residing just your silhouette inside that carriage. We pick back up at that exact moment. I wouldn't move if I were you. Have they opened the door yet? Has who opened the door yet? These guys that were... These guys, we need specifics. Reeves is in front, Hobbs is in back. Hobbs is the person who's detected you, Reeves has not. Reeves has exited and gone back to sitting with the rest of the group around the campfire in the back. Got it. It's only by his lighter that he's seen you illuminate the inside and just seen the it. silhouette. So he doesn't even know that it's you. He hasn't known your party long enough. He just knows that someone's in the carriage that shouldn't be. Hobbs gonna, uh, is gonna cock that crossbow that he has and slowly slide down to the side. I'm, I'm going to uh, hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the fire out that I lit the the finger. Darkness inside the carriage once again. Hey Reeves, you want to get down from over here? I think you flagged that door just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna ask y'all once. Who's gotten this damn carriage? Cause I think you're gonna want to get out pretty quick, but you don't need to move that fast. Did those of us in the back see? him go in see uh jacob do his thing nobody asked for perception checks at the time so i'm going to give you guys uh facing the fire biddy knows disadvantage perception for nelson toff xanarin and myself there i was busy eating the chili <laughs> yo xanrin oh i need to pull up my own character sheet that'd be smart that plus 10 i said is so nice. i said that while i was muted yeah i got that passive plus 10. it's exciting did mine come through or did it get a little glitchy no it came through okay good I only see Nelson, Xanarin, and Toph. Yeah, 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 they come through. My bad. All right. Sweet. I'm here. Perception. Disadvantage. Uh, 
Yep, that checks out. That checks out. I'm assuming it wasn't good. That's oh, 12. No. I'm, I'm hanging out with my chili. Uh, Xanren, <laughs> you got a 17 still. Yeah, you're the only one that's on the cuffs. You and, oh, Nelson got a, uh, that's a, that's a investigation. I think you rolled there, Nelson. Is no, top oh. did deception, actually. Oh. Yeah, top did deception. I, ro I rolled perception. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I went, I went too far up in the roll. Yeah, so you're at 11. Xanren. Stuff's the same numbers. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think he did that too stealthily. I think he was over 17 when he did that. When he did his stealth check on Misty Step. I'm going to roll. I'm going to look up just a little further in there. Stealth. Yeah, he was a 21. So you did not. Yikes. Cool. <clears throat> Hobbs only saw it by getting the 22 with a hella roll. Nelson kind of looks around the circle of his companions, like taking inventory. <laughs> Can Biddy, like, whisper to them? Since I'm right there. No, because you're currently in your form up top. You're residing inside your. Uh, oh, your, that's uh, right. I'm vibing on the rock. <laughs> yeah, you're vibing up here, yo. <laughs> As one does normally. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you, you weren't do. up there because I waved in front of your face and you couldn't see me. Oh wait, that's right. No, I'm not <laughs> over there. It was I remember just standing that. There. Yeah, my echo's just up there, but it's not me. All right, so nobody has a clue what's going on right now. <clears throat> if he's talking to me inside, here. uh. I'm trying to read this. I don't think it's dependent on my site. Uh, how far is what's back over this way? Is this like woods and stuff kind of in this path? You have no idea because you've never looked over there. Now, oh, okay, up sure. above when you're on the rock, I will allow you to say that, yes, you do know there's another outcropping across from you that's generally about the same height. And there's another rock over here that's about the same height. And uh, I, I believe that Thomas is not here. Thomas is probably back over in the possession or near Nelson, showing his, shining his light through his empty body. Can he not get a glow effect like the, like the other guys do? Oh, he can. I was just really busy. Unfortunately, I can only uh, step one time. So, uh, don't you have a cool necklace? I do have a cool necklace, but I think that I'm gonna summon a fire elemental out yonder on the rock or something <laughs> as a distraction. Now you have to see to be able to place it. It doesn't say that. That's what I was looking at. In my game, you're gonna be able okay. to need to see to place it. There's only a handful of spells that work like that where you don't have to see, and that's like Word of Radiance. Uh, if you wanna play a little roulette, I'd love to play. Uh, go ahead and give me a history check if you wanna blind fire this bad boy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's an 11. 11. I don't know if I have any inspo. Hold on. Here comes the question of, is he gonna fish for it? Is the fire element- He loves to play the, the game. I got, a, I got a D8. <laughs> nice. Oh. That's much better. 18. All right. I want you to pick Actually, no, I'm gonna do this just like regeneration. If okay. you roll a five or a six, Mud, you can place this fire elemental anywhere that you remember. Nope. We're gonna play the quadrant game. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you've already rolled it. So one through four are the quadrants. You didn't want me to roll a d4 for the quadrants? No, no, because I built it into the d6. Oh, so okay. five yeah, and yeah, six gotcha. were your choice. And then gotcha. one through four. All right. I'm going to flip a coin, whether I'm going to go clockwise or counterclockwise. Cool. Clockwise heads, counterclockwise tails. <laughs> All right. 
with the three. I'm gonna start from left to right. This is gonna be quadrant one, two, and three. Fire, uh, rigor fire elemental. Anything special about it? Uh, it's friendly to you and your companions for the duration. Roll initiative for it. Uh, no, just normal fire elemental. <laughs> yep, normal dude. Just, just, just a normal fire nice elemental. Ivy little fire elemental. Yep. All He's right. like a little calcifer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're gonna erupt this thing. Uh, it, it, since it's a point that you've seen, I'm gonna put this sucker right up on top of this rock outcropping across. Okay. As this fire elemental <laughs> swirls into formation. Oh, God damn it! We got a whole lot of trouble over here, Reeves. Shit! As they spin around and see this thing erupt. <laughs> Now I'm assuming you're doing this at the same time. I'm gonna allow you to essentially have a surprise round. I was I was just gonna try to stealth my way out when they had their backs turned, if I could. Okay, well they definitely have their they definitely have their attention on this side towards the fire elemental that's just erupted. I wasn't gonna attack them. I was just gonna try to sneak out and be like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Walk out, like be gone, and it disappears, and you look like the fire whisperer or something. <laughs> First, hero. you got to make a stealth check because you're currently sitting on this furry belly. Okay. Oh. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Wow. All right. Mm. This will be with disadvantage for our sleeping uh, knoll. As you do your best job to creep out the other side, I will give a disadvantage on uh, our two good old boys as well as you make your way out on the other side. So many windows open. So many windows. It's in one of them. <laughs> They're here somewhere. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here's Hobbs. He's the heavy perception. Whoa, 14. Reeves, disadvantage as well. You're both good, actually. Nice. 16 on his looking across at this fire elemental you may go ahead and sneak your body out the back side <laughs> captain just gonna, chaos just gonna try to slide over back here with the party and like, hey whoa, whoa what's uh what's going on did you do that uh, she's pointing at the elemental no, that's 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 not that's definitely not me. So it's just a naturally occurring fire elemental. You should be able to deceive us. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on here. Are you calling us silly? <laughs> oh, dang oh it. he's actually doing it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, probably deceived us. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Do they just linger? Should we roll? We have to roll perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, no, it's 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 insight. your insight. Oh, insight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no. Oh damn, dude, so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Well, I still have exhaustion, oh. so. <laughs> oh, I forgot about exhaustion. You're right. Oh, damn. Well, speaking yeah, of, so can I use my second wind? I have another second wind. Can you get rid yeah, of that? I forgot about it too. Why? <laughs> nope. We're in the same, we're in the same spot we were. Has not changed. <laughs> Has not changed. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, suddenly I want to move forward in the game. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about that is that quite predictably and in character, Toph has bought the idea of, like, the fire elemental has nothing to do with Jacob, hook, line, and sinker. And that is just perfect. <laughs> I'm just clueless. I turn oh, yeah. around, my chili kind of spilling as I flip it over. Same. Scared. I got that, that too as well. <laughs> Oh, like, you know, sometimes the, uh... For a long rest, please. All of us, everyone lay down. Keep warm by the fire elemental. <laughs> <laughs> we can't process this thing. Uh, sometimes the, uh, you know, it's just uh, sometimes the, uh, tectonic plate shift and, uh, you know, it, uh, it's gas escaping from the, you know, the cracks of the, uh, in the forest, you know, it, just, it happens. Xanron <laughs> just sort of nods his head and says, I, I think it's got something to do with an, uh, with when Mercury is in retrograde, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. For God's yeah, sake, gonna... somebody put this goddamn flame out before it lights up both these wagons! As they pull up their crossbows. I need everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> oh, roll initiative friendly here, to right? It is friendly to us. <laughs> well, this was definitely a way to I start mean, the session. <laughs> you don't know that. You name this thing Jimmy? You don't know that yet, but he's Jimmy the Null. I can sure see Jimmy the Samsy. <laughs> you don't know it yet, but his name is Jimmy. Jimmy. He's got a oh. nice smile. <laughs> he's like, who needs Jimmy? No, that's a so he smiles. Oh, that's that's a lot of dice. He's a mouth breather. We know. <laughs> he's a mouth breather. It's like I got a cold. Sorry. What did you roll for your initiative, Sam? Ten. Go ahead and put the fire elemental inside your extras so you can make all the rolls for him, bud. I did. Awesome. Cool. Uh, go ahead and re-roll uh, roll its initiative so I can give it. Twelve? No, nine. Six. Yeah, I like that you can just add these things in the extras. It's super nice. Hella nice. This poor baby gets summoned and then can murdered I do that by this. Hmm. <laughs> you said your initiative was like... 10, Sam? <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <That's> good. <laughs> You can make it whatever you want it to be now. I mean, actually, it's like a 23. I got nuts. Weird. Amazing. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that. Didn't you hear the sound? It went burr burr. <laughs> Everyone else heard it, right? Yeah, yeah no, definitely. 20s in the chat. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So many fire elementals here. Configure permissions. Hopefully, this is the one that I just laid down. See if you can move that fire elemental now, Mud. Uh, yes. Sweet. Awesome. Oh. Good shit. All right. Top of the order. Xanrin. Oh, God. I rolled a nat zero. God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Terrible, terrible, terrible time. Uh, I'm very um, into my chili. There's no doubt about that. Wait, they want to fight us? Is that what happened here? No, 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 no. They're fighting a giant fire elemental oh, cool. that's threatening to cut, you know, rip through and catch their wagons on fire. Yeah. Um, hmm. You don't know. You, you, no one knows this is Xanrin, or no one knows this, this is Jacob's fire elemental either. Like, <laughs> this thing is just kicked up. fire elemental. Oh, yep. gosh. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to know this, so you'll have to inform me, but if I start attacking uh, said fire elemental, am I allowed to know if it will then turn hostile to me or anyone else who's attacking it for that matter? Since you don't know it's Jacob's, you're just assuming this is a fire elemental that's threatening you. Uh, he, Jacob has complete control over it. It is not like summoning a demon, so uh, it's up to him to to play the ruse. It, it does what I say, mm. yeah. And one, I, I guess one last question, if I'm going to start uh, flying uh, because I'm still at exhaustion two, I think, is my, I presume my flight speed is halved as well as... No, that does not happen until uh, later points of exhaustion, so you actually still have um, your uh, your full. 
Okay, all right, excellent. That's that's really neat. Nice. Um, okay, so uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to start flying. Um, I'm oh, go actually, how many points of exhaustion do you have? I'm at two. So okay, you're at two. Speed speed, speed is halved. My bad. I was thinking about five, where it reduces to zero. So yes, nah, yeah, your yeah, yeah. your flying speed is halved now. Uh, so that would be 15 feet in the air, I presume. Uh, is the most I can go, I think, uh, with halved movement, unless it's more for the flying. Yeah, 15 feet. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go 15 feet straight up. Uh, I'm going to pull some psychic daggers, uh, and I am going to start throwing because, yeah, uh, I have no idea that this is something to do with one of our compatriots. So uh, I'll go ahead and throw that first one. That'll hit. 13 is just the AC. Wow. Damn. Uh, ooh, hang on. Something we can do with this, actually, because uh, we have uh, we have special things that we can do with Psychic Blades. Uh, namely, um, what's it called? Soul Blades Homing Strike. I can throw a 1d8 and add that number to the attack roll and then ex uh, expend a psionic die if it hits which I'm going to presume it will, considering that you've just told us that's the AC. Yep. I'm going to do that. So it's 15 now, and that's... yeah. I presume it just roll damage, so all good. Yes, and um... Right. No sneak attack now. No sneak attack on this. Uh, because... okay, gotcha. Uh, I'll see. It's, I hope it's going to give the uh, figures separately. If it doesn't, yeah, do the thing as is. And eh, never mind. That's 12 damage. 12 points of damage. God, elementals are so strong. Oh my god. And uh, I do the same thing for bonus <gasps> action. Oh with my second dagger. Oh my god, I can I can actually. Hell hit. <laughs> Oh, what the oh. hell? I, I changed the damage and it keeps track of it. Yeah. Are you are you okay, Robert? You sound incredibly excited. I'm very excited yeah, because for the first time, itemized damage, I can now select between the two in Foundry 9. Before, when it mm. gave me these itemized damage, I had to do everything manually. And now Ooh. I can, uh, I have a fancy little arrow and I can just take your psychic damage and apply it to the, uh, just DM pleasantries. Oh. Yes. Very nice. So with that, you can then apply the, uh, the seven sneak, da uh, psychic damage without the 19 sneak damage on that as well. Right. Seven more damage. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. First, that's gotta be really handy. Nice. First hit. One. Concentration check from our sleeping knoll. Oh no. Great. Currently, music boxes are still going, so the DC for them to wake up is an 18. Ten on the first, still sleeping. Second oh. attack. Oh, still sleeping. Any uh, anything else for your turn? No, I think I think I'm I think I think that's good. I'm 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 just gonna be there having thrown psychic daggers and. Uh, I'm going to embrace the fact that now apparently fire elementals appear naturally, and that's terrifying as a creature with many feathers. Tecton tectonic plates, man. The yeah. shifting of the Earth's crust. It doesn't, <laughs> really, it doesn't make it any less scary. <laughs> uh, question for you, Nelson. You do have the light cantrip on uh, Thomas the Turkey, correct? That is correct. Okay, light cantrip is 30 feet. Okay. Uh, well, I'm kind of asking, looking up at the same time. I can't remember. Light is um ten feet. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying how big is the radius of the light? It looks like ten feet in any direction uh, of in any dimension. So it's twenty foot radius. Twenty foot dim, dim, ten foot bright. Got it. What? I yep. see twenty bright, twenty dim. 
I see bright yeah, light in the 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20. Oh God, 20, 40. Okay. Oh, 40, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> He's very Go Thomas. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a lot of light for Thomas. The, the 10 foot is gotta the shake him again. Lights that back you can up. light up. <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. He's about to let it shine, all right. You like our little glow stick? We're gonna wave. Just whoa! Thomas is fucking. Like, ah, Thomas. Thomas He's is been fucking like intense. This whole time. <laughs> it's so bright. She said it 20 minutes ago in the game. So. <laughs> now in, we're in the future. She so, said when you cast a spell in the last wow. episode. Yeah. So this is crazy. So light interacts with your actual like portraits and objects now. Like it's you can actually see it like wash things out. Oh my god, yeah, this is so like, cool. She's like, ah, because literally she's being blinded. <laughs> it has suddenly become radiant. For God's sakes, put Thomas's wing down. I can't see what I'm doing over here. Could someone please put Thomas out? Could someone Thomas, please turn the Thomas, we that yeah. light switch into you so you could turn it on and off. Mm. Not so you could have tricky rings. <laughs> I'm gonna turn his... You could actually turn his intensity down a little bit. You're like, okay, okay. Well, there we go. I'll turn him down just a little bit. <gasps> <laughs> we know it's there, but good grief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right. The turkey is on a demo. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, it is your turn, and you promptly dimmed your turkey. <laughs> I didn't have to use an action for that, right? No, that's a fucking that's a at will, baby. Hell yeah, you. It's a free action. And I'm going to flicker him off and on just for fun. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 Give us the whole party. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Now, what does Nelson do? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Nelson is going to Nelson's going to rise up from his resting place as he sees Xanrin launch into the air, uh, reaching forward with a weird feathered limb. We're going to launch a ray of frost at the uh, at this fire elemental. Oh. It seems like a Pokemon appropriate spell to cast. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Thirteen, baby, getting her done. Oh my god! That'll hit. Thirteen, and then damage. Oh. Eleven points of cold damage, but that will lock down ten feet of his movement, if I am Ooh. correct, on Ray uh, of yes. Frost. Uh, yeah. Yes, he's slowed. I think, or was that on Chill Touch? Nope. Uh, no, by 10, feet. You're right. 10 feet, the start of its turn. I love that Jacob is just letting this happen when he can just snap his fingers and make it disappear. <laughs> I'm, I'm pock committed. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I don't know what this is doing. Cut it out. Cover my own ass here. <laughs> Dad, they're hurting me. Dad. I don't know you, son. <laughs> I know you not. <laughs> Fire dead. <laughs> All right. Um, I can't throw shield is only for me. I can't throw that at anybody, right? Okay. Shield. Oh, uh, yes. Um, I think for my second action, I might just. What's gonna happen here? Oh Ooh, my God. Uh, yes, nice. this is another constitution. Disadvantage. Oh, sleepy no. Very sleepy. Um, you know what? For my second action, I'm just gonna reposition a little bit because I feel very exposed and I wanna get behind the fightery people. Wait, no, I died last time. Please be my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm made of cloth and really skinny hollow bones. <laughs> and I don't want to have pants on. Mm, hollow bones. Uh, that protective layer. I'm missing out. 
Hey Jacob, I have a quick question. Uh, does mm -hmm. your elemental, you know, whenever they die, do they combust? Oh. I need to know this. I mean, no. I don't think you would no. Nope. Yeah. That. What? <laughs> nope. Are you are you asking me or are you asking Jacob? Jacob. It's not your turn. <laughs> I'm sliding like a note underneath. <laughs> hey. Check, yes, yeah, her fire elemental explode. Um, By the way, this elemental yep. sheds a bright light, thirty foot radius, and then dim light in another thirty feet. If you wanted to go ahead and <laughs> let's just let's just go ahead and uh, let's Watch just go this. ahead and go there and. I mean, it does uh, it does emphasize the fact that it's like, oh my god, everything's going up in flames, no doubt. <laughs> It's midnight and we're blinded. Got it. My eyes. <laughs> moon for the second day in a row. Oh my eyes. They can see this all the way from Baldur's Gate. Yeah. And there's like a big bonfire at the yeah. gate. We're basically fighting on the surface of the sun. It's yeah. like, uh, it's like when it's like it's like Minas Morgul when it lights up and Gandalf <laughs> sees it all the way from Minas Terror. It's like oh, this <laughs> ray of light into the sky. Yes. Yeah, here we go. This is this is good nightmare fuel. So much light. All right. Do you see my fire with your special eyes? My brand. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I think of. My eyes. <laughs> Reeves turn. He's he's popping off two cross bolt shots. That's for damn sure. First one. Oh yeah, twenty one's gonna wow. hit. Second one. Wow, Reeves! Oh my gosh, Reeves! Damn, Country Reeves. boy can survive. Uh, I'm glad we're not fighting him. <laughs> nine points yes. of piercing damage on the first. Eight points on the second. Are they resistant? It doesn't uh, do as much as you would think it would. Yeah, yeah. That's 17 <laughs> points halved. So it's only going to do uh, niner. My cold wasn't doubled, right? It was not. No, it was not doubled. <laughs> but Goddamn! Pops! Those arrows just went right through him! Shit! He's gonna take a, uh, a position back over here on the other side. He's gonna run past you, Jacob. He's gonna look over at you. I imagine you got some experience with some bitches like that just looking over at your face. Give her hell, buddy. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I got I, I got this under control. Does <laughs> he like cracks his knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> no offense or anything. No, it's, it's fine. I get that all the time. All right, two concentration checks for Jimmy the Null. Sounds like a mobster. <laughs> oh! Oh no! The nineteen. Jacob. <laughs> we have bigger fish to fry. Oh, my turn. oh no! <laughs> to hear those music boxes just just getting thrashed around that door is going to explode out Hobbs looking over his side oh shit <laughs> he has no control poor Hobbs first bite Oh, 28 to hit 11 points of piercing damage It just grips and rends his flesh 4 HP left Oh my gosh already? Damn dude They're just they're, they're not adventurers They're merchants <laughs> oh my Hobbs And the claw No
Uh-oh. Dip, duck, dive, dodge. 16 points. <laughs> That's over. That's perma. Hobbs <laughs> is dead on the ground. Or no, hold on, hold on. 16. That's 12. 12 points. And he's got 15. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Hobbs Are you is, sure? Yeah. He's gone? I'm just Hobbs. over at Mudcat who created all of this chaos. <laughs> it's in this big gulp over there. Just rips it and just strength. You just see blood against the carriage <laughs> as Hobbs' body drops to the ground. You're not Oops. wrong. This is literally 100% Mudcat's fault. <laughs> Has everything been? Yeah. Jimmy and the flame, our two enemies are here because of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we almost died to mushrooms because of him. Yeah. Chaos. You are the problem child. Chaos is my brand, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the children's harness. From Can we here leave him out. here this time? <laughs> I his necklace in a lake. It's oh. a good thing I'm really good at deceiving people. Hobbs hits the ground and yeah, his lantern's gonna go out. Because oh. it hits and crashes to the ground. Probably had a family. <laughs> It's gonna look over. Does it really wisdom? It's gonna. I'm gonna make a wisdom check. If it really knows what that fire elemental is up there, if it's just bright light. Yeah, yeah. That's just a. It's just really bright light. So it's. It's gonna go for the first creature it sees, and it's gonna run towards Utah. That's gonna be the end of Jimmy's turn. Great. <laughs> Biddy, it is your turn. I'm gonna do the old switcheroo. Don't mind me. I'm not a curious sucker. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, switcheroo. And that takes my bonus action. Uh, and then I suppose from my echo, I'll do a little tack tacky if I can. If we gonna. I'm assuming that hits, right? 22. 22 Save will it, hit. Please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, that one did not roll. Dang it, I got a 17 now. How do I get that to roll in here? It rolled in D&D &D Beyond. Yeah, it gave me a 17, but here, I'll just manually do it in here. Okay, so what you need to do when you're on D&D &D Beyond, you mm -hmm. have to roll the B button. If you don't roll where it like when you hover so, over it, you have- It's not giving me that one for this option. And I, I don't know why. It gives me for all of them except for my slashing. And that's when I rolled. So like if I do my, like the, the, I have like two options. So I guess we can. Okay, so I got your character sheet pulled up. Uh... Yeah, I was going with the 1d10 plus seven, but. Yeah, so if, as long as you do your 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 long, your, that's what you're swinging with, your long sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so don't, uh, uh, Cool, so just hit your, uh, hover over the, the B that's on the plus 11 on the long sword. Click yeah, that bad boy. That. Okay, so yeah. I got the 22. Yep, yeah, got the 22, awesome. Cool, and, and you're swinging, got... swinging two-handed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you so want, we be... can fix this right now where you only swing so you don't get the FOMO, by the way. We can fix this okay. right now. So yeah, what okay. I want you to do is I want you to go up to where you see your name Biddy Dalfoodle, mm -hmm. and I want you mm -hmm. to move to the right and click on Beyond 20. Beyond 20. And then okay. go down to Versatile Weapon Choice. What? That is not what I get when I get that. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Okay. And just use uh, weapon two handed. <laughs> and then you can click OK. Cool. 
at the bottom right hand corner and it should only roll that so it's going to do 11 points of damage on a jimmy to know can i roll it just to test it though mm-hmm. do you mind if i roll yeah okay, just so can see oh that's so nice okay yeah Thank you. you're very welcome uh and that's that's it for me all right uh when you do your when you do your switch i let you uh it does it as a bonus action and then yeah. you're then you're able to take your regular action so you can yeah which you, i did with my echo cool so you get to swing twice correct <laughs> yes <laughs> sorry no problem it's cool i'm just making sure you get your money's worth yeah yeah what is that not mm, 13? Mm, 13 will not hit <sighs> Then I'm done. All right. Any movement for your echo? Mm, Yeah. If you do move away, you will take an attack of opportunity. And your echo, remember, does only have one HP. Well, then I guess no, because it doesn't (laughs) matter. (laughs) Hey, it's always available. Just want to go through your options. All right. (laughs) At worst case scenario, it's that to take a heroic like dive no 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 because i know how robear works now i'm not letting my echo just start (laughs) dying willy-nilly that's what killed me last time (laughs) why do you think i switched (laughs) 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 i have finished (laughs) biddy's playing it safe right now okay she's still traumatized (laughs) jacob fair enough she did die (laughs) (laughs) Your master plan. Oh, great. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, yeah, Jacob, he'll, he'll look at this other. Uh, this was um, this was not Reeves, right? This was uh, Reeves oh, is next oh, to you. Reeves. Hobbs yeah, is dead. Reeves. Um, as he comes back, I'll, I don't know that Hobbs is dead yet. So uh, yeah, don't worry. Stand behind me. I know exactly what to do. He's gonna he's gonna step forward seeing this new uh, this null escape and run towards Toph. He's just gonna raise his hands up really high. I command you, demon, to cease. <laughs> he's putting on a show, and as a free action, I will I will dispel that <laughs> that uh, fire elemental. But I'm gonna do it in a way where it like struggles and uh, and slowly becomes a uh, a a pillar of smoke that trails to my hand and as it reaches my hand i'm going to grab the smoke and casting shadow blade form it into a uh, a, a shadow sword so and like then, does this come with a performance check because i feel like sword. it should come with a performance, you want check. Check a performance check? <laughs> hey now hey now i'm in control of this board but there yes you he should absolutely do a performance check that's a 16. oh hell yeah oh, man yeah, dude <laughs> so i'm siphoning off this uh this creature into a into a shadow sword as i pull the smoke from it and then i'm gonna take that sword and run at the null and it is a simple weapon which i'm proficient so that's a plus six to hit all oh, the 20 was there 14 to hit 14 does not hit 14 does not hit do I have any? I have the uh, country oh. folk now where you can uh, hover over their uh, their token. And you can see their name. I'm oh, sorry, cool. I didn't I didn't see that you couldn't could not see their names. Oh no worries. Um. Yeah, then that is uh, that is my turn. Then swing and a miss. <laughs> All right, so he is now a a fire sword for you. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> a smoke sword. Just smoke black, sword. Black. A solidified sword of gloom <laughs> is the description oh, that's fitting. for shadow blade love it all right goodbye i can officially uh, remove him from the initiative order correct yeah all right yeah I, my action was to dispel him or my free action yep got it <clears throat> Cough. It is your turn. As a bonus action, can I just throw my chili bowl in its mouth? 
<laughs> He's just hungry. I'm hungry when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> While inventive and hilarious and allowed to be a free action, you may do so and it will chomp right through it. Go ahead and give me an improvised strike. <laughs> sure, sure. Um... Oh, 13 if you would have got to 16 i would have given you advantage on your first strike but it just oh, it just tears right through and it's eats that chili up oh oh no oh no bowl and all here, just freaking out and also because it seems like we're really on to this theme of just lighting everything up <clears throat> Pop's eyes glow bright white and he summons down sacred flame which is actually radiance damage, but so it's the seeming like that. And flames just pour down from the sky onto this poor creature, and it will need to make a deck saving throw of 15. Lest it take some damage. I'll just describe it as like a white burning flame. Okay, oh. that's cute. Yeah, it's real good at this. Cool. Jimmy, Jimmy's rolling hot. That's, that's like no fair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, I forgot. These creatures do have rampage. When they reduce a creature to zero hit points uh, with a melee attack, they take a bonus action melee attack. So Jimmy is going to give you a bite toff. Uh, okay, cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, mm. let's take that. Oh, let's go, not. let's go. Or is he? They, that chili bowl, that's what it bit into. Per you knew this all along, <laughs> what was going down. I need you this instead. <laughs> Just as planned. <laughs> all going to my plan. Brilliant. Well, that didn't work with the radiance. So that's my turn. <laughs> Toph is not going to choose to run away though. Staying there, he's going to look at the the rest of the group. I'm like, just stay behind me. <laughs> Why do you think I'm up here? <laughs> I'm gonna keep oh. <laughs> Hobbs in the figural turn order since he is current. No, no, I don't need to. He's currently, he's just dead. So I can just remove him. He's not unconscious. So I don't need to keep track. Rip. Hobbs spends his action and bonus action bleeding and decomposing, respectively. <laughs> respectively. Oh, shit! Is I'm gonna get up from my chili bowl? And I, I, we are, we're surrounded by this thing. I don't even know that Hobbs is really dead back behind this thing yet. I just go forward into the knoll. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna conjure my spiritual weapon. And I'm gonna get that shield floating in between here. So it's gonna float between uh, you or uh, Biddy, Biddy's, <clears throat> Biddy's avatar, the Echo, or Toph, either one. It can swing forward and aid you. Okay. And I'm gonna swing that hammer. We're using two-handed, baby. Less strikes are on. Let's go. Ooh. 20 will hit. Spoicy. Oh, yeah. 24 Very points spoiled. of damage. Ah! <laughs> Slams down with a mega strike. Hell yeah. I love the little damage counter like an MMO now. That's so adorable. <laughs> Wait, there's a damage counter? Yeah. And uh in in yeah, in the little number. In now in Foundry Nine it does the little minus ten, minus five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that earlier. I was like <laughs> All right, that's my uh my action. I can only swing once. I got my bonus. I will uh I will go ahead and I'll shield bash him while it's out. <laughs> Get it. Ah! 
What is my hit? It's a hit plus zero. That ain't right. Because you suck. You suck. <laughs> oh, I do suck. 14's not going to hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn. Much time literally quit the shot. <laughs> and uh, we'll get the <laughs> figurative shield out over here. Bam. Shields floating. By the way, if you uh, if tokens are stacked and you can't see them, remember Shift Z is how you bring tokens up and below different objects. All right, end of Brahm's turn. Oh. Oh. You hear Knowles from both sides. On either side of the cliffs, you see packs rush down. One large knoll. Three smaller knolls in tow with it. Biddy, back over on your side, same thing. Another knoll the size of Jimmy I'm and so three smallers. <laughs> and you see the owlbear in the front, rear back. It's just in the faint light, you see an absolute unit of a knoll rear back, <laughs> hopping up top on a rock. I'm gonna let you guys refill your beverage if you need to right now. Take your bathroom break. These the guys are all going in the initiative order. Oh man. Oh my god. But <laughs> cat Uh I would say I'm sorry, but you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> Hello. We all equally just right look one. at him. Like we know this was you. <laughs> We're all gonna be sitting there in the afterlife. Well, I'm really <laughs> glad I got what? up here. <sighs> so many knows. Okay. Top of the round. We've lost our carousel over here. Let me go yeah, ahead and refresh. I say, I will when I uh, when country. I took scenes out it to look at the map, I'm sure that's what did it. On the left side, uh, the rows of icons, you can click on the bottom one is a carousel that you can click on as well. Sometimes it'll pop it back up, sometimes it doesn't. All right. <laughs> Oh my Big. gosh, they're like all in before us. Oh my god. Big knoll. <laughs> right over here. AKA Knoll Flesh Knoller is going to hop down towards you, Biddy. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's taking its <laughs> first swipe. It does have uh, pack tactics. So it's gonna swipe with advantage. Oh. Ooh. Yes. 15 points of piercing damage as it bites down. <clears throat> Swinging away with its claw, 27 to hit. It's gonna do 13 points of slashing damage. Wow. Yoink. It's gonna stay locked in where it's at. All the way across over here on the other side. Nice. This knoll up here on the hill. It's gonna come racing down. 
And uh, this rock face that's up here, this rock face is 10 feet. Hmm. Get a roll log back out. Let's check and see what the hell's going on here. Boom. It's gonna take its spear and it's gonna stab down at you. You do have a plus two to your AC with my shield hovering out. Sweet. First spear attack. Oh, let's go! Oh, nice. 100%. Describe yanking this knoll down, spear and all, tumbling, landing prone down below. Toph sees it sliding down, easily able to predict its trajectory, embraces himself, leaning down into the ground into a full squat, and at the last moment, sidesteps, grabs that spear, and flips him over. Let's go. It's gonna take a full six points of bludgeoning damage. And then Toph is gonna raise that spear in his hand. <laughs> Perfect. She yelped. <laughs> Bell's here doing the voice of the gnolls. Thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> this one is going to rush in then as well. It's going to go over to Xanran, laugh <laughs> and cackle. <laughs> and stab oh no you're 15 feet in the air it's gonna mm -hmm. jump because it's an not a smart creature uh <laughs> actually no we do have they do have bows they're gonna take a shot at you first shot oh okay that is gonna miss second that shot with its bow missed. let's go miss. <laughs> Two shots done, end of uh, their turn. Xanrin, it is your turn. I am going to stare back with piercing eyes at that knoll. Um, I don't, I, hmm, I don't know if that's, um, hmm. Can I, can I RP that, but use it as like an intimidation check for a bonus action or something, or would that be a main action? I let you do an intimidation check for free. Oh, for free, excellent. Okay. Time to see how terrifying an owl in the middle of the night under what is probably a full moon uh, I mean, would if, look like. If they've ever lived their life as a vole before, they would know terrifying. Indeed. Also, <laughs> I think I'm at disadvantage still with that, aren't I? Yes. Now that I rolled up. So never mind. Oh well. <laughs> if it in your... I would be terrified of you. I would, my Patronus is a vole. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's not, not something to be proud of. <laughs> Uh, my Patronus is actually a St. Bernard I retook it and I thought You know what, that may be the most accurate Patronus I'm ever going to get There you go, it's a good classic All Everyone thanks to Sam's stream Because they show me the website <laughs> that like does it better The official one Well it's the there official me. one but it gives you all the options So there's no RNG of it kind of like Forcing you into a certain Thing because it would do like a randomizer and it would sometimes it would lean like I noticed it would lean heavy into like certain houses I would take it and get one or the other oh yeah you need to get hooked up with the real that one, then. <laughs> my upgrade <laughs> <laughs> all right so Xandrin just to let you know you got a person that's prone since you are elevated and throwing daggers down that's advantage so you can get sneak attack on uh on this knoll that's laying here there is no sneak attack on the knoll that has shot arrows. Okay. Um, hmm. And I can, considering that it's 10 feet as opposed to 15 feet, I can move away from this one uh, and it won't incur an attack of opportunity because I'm not even in its range of attack at that point. Yeah, it has, uh, has a little bit of reach with its spear, but it can't get you with you being 15 feet. Nice, okay, amazing. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move five feet back uh, and I am going to pull out a couple of uh, psychic daggers and start chucking them at people. Uh, namely, the guy who is prone, uh, because I feel like that is... Uh, we, can, we can get small problems out of the way right now. So let's give that a shot. Uh, is 17 gonna hit? Uh, which one are you attacking again? Uh, this boy over here, the one that's prone. 
I have to roll that with advantage, don't I? Thanks. Yes. Okay, one of that one. Fish for crits. Let's do this. Fish for crits. Not a crit, but better. <clears throat> Get these health bars up for you here. Nice. Sweet. Uh, and 21's gonna hit? Oh, oh yeah, 21 hits. Okay, gotcha. Total so, 27 points of damage. Let's um, go. And, and as is expected, I'll go ahead and throw a second knife as well. Um, see what's going on there. Or 22, and obviously not with the sneak attack damage here. Unless it's a... Actually, that is a good question. I presume it's only on the one attack. I only get usual. one sneak attack. However, yeah. I have uh, mm -hmm. found a magic item in another campaign that lets you do your sneak attack at half damage on your second. Just manifesting that out there that it exists. That's... Wow. Uh, mm. Yeah. Half so uh, half sneak yeah. attack on the second is like mm, that's Chef's mm. kiss. That's, that's <clears> real good. So I guess it's just nine damage on that second. Just nine time, still. Mm -hmm. Nine. No oh, great. No more. Uh, and I am gonna go ahead and uh, end my turn on that one. End of your turn. Big boy on top of the cliff. It can't help itself. It is 100% going to come down here. It is trying to jump out towards you, Xanrin. Athletics check. Horribly. For, from, from it? Oh, God. All right. I'm going to set this. You were 15 feet in the air. They're 10 feet up on this cliff. So we're, this needs to be an athletics of a 14 or above. Then I have to make the strike. Oh yeah, it's gonna be able to make that leap and it is going in with claws. Hey. 19 to hit. Does not hit AC 20. <laughs> ah, nice. Just misses. <laughs> Raking through with these claws, it's just going to try to chomp as it's going in for its landing. It will not be able to bring you down, though. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Hot damn. As it lands down below you. It is pissed <laughs> off right now. That will be the end of its turn. Roguish bullshit strikes again. <laughs> Nelson, your turn, my friend. Nelson's. Nelson has an idea. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Nelson has an idea. So, Nelson, being a Kenku, happens to be an expert of mimicry. So what he's going to do is attempt to mimic the sound of the music box. I will let you know already that Jimmy is awake. Yeah. And I will uh, I will let you RP it out and I will not cause it to use your bonus action or action to do so. I just want oh, you to okay. RP it. Um, basically, the way this works, a creature can tell if these sounds are limita imitations with an insight versus deception. Performance um, check. Uh, I don't know if I have to do that as a Kenku. Do I? I guess I do. No, if this is my game, I'm just letting you do a performance on it. Do so with advantage because oh. you're a mimicry. Oh! oh! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Like I said, as a Kenku, I don't think I need it, but. <laughs> N 
Nelson steals his eyes at Jimmy. Uh, I mean, I don't know it's Jimmy, but that's who he stares at. <laughs> Jimmy slumps down and falls asleep. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> now. Now, I want to describe the way Nelson does this. Now, most people, when they sing, <laughs> you know, their their mouths, you know, wah, 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 move with the sound. But uh, with his mimicry, literally all he does is open wide his weird toothed beak and the <laughs> noise just comes out of it like a speaker. Like he does it with his throat and his diaphragm and thing. You know, he doesn't move, his beak doesn't flap. It just like comes out of him perfectly. It's amazing. Now my intention was to try and do this like kind of like concentration. I don't yes, know how you it is. Do it. You're going to be concentrating on this since yeah. you threw this twenty. You're going to have a free level. Like you're not going to have to make that check. Uh, ne you know, next time. Right. You're going to get a freebie. Cool. But oh, yeah. you'll have to if you if you take damage. I'm going to make you roll roll against it. Cool. Perfect. Uh, and then maybe, and it also would count as an action in future turns, I would assume. Concentration or no, action. no, no, no. I'm gonna have okay. this consume your bonus action. Perfect. And you still have your full full action. Let's go. Right. Hell yeah! I can't believe that works. <laughs> okay. Woo. Legit, dude. Right, Power of so nat twenties. <clears throat> with his beak wide open, with the music box noises coming out, he also <laughs> gestures to his left towards the giant knoll below uh his his bird his other feathered friend and uh we're gonna do the, a chill touch Ooh. oh 14 will not hit no dang and then with his other hand <laughs> What did I just try? I tried chill touch, right? Um, yeah. With, with the other hand, we'll fire off a frostbite. So you can only I, cantrip. This is, you can only do one. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't realize it was still a cantrip. Um. You know what? We're just gonna shoot a uh, blight at the big guy. Well, you can only do uh, chill touch. Is the only thing that you could do then. Oh. Okay. If you oh. if you want, since you didn't quite understand uh, whether you could cast a spell or a cantrip, you can you can cast a full blown spell. Okay. Well, I can also just reposition because I would like to back away some more from the combat. <laughs> Let's just do that for now because I'm still freaking out about the fact that that uh, the the music box thing worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right end of uh nelson's turn yes last knoll to the south <laughs> it too is gonna head over here it's gonna it's gonna try to strike at you toff it's gonna use its spear and try to poke at you mm -hmm. 21 will hit with that additional plus. So, yep. Damn. Second poke. Will not hit. 14 points of piercing damage with its spear. Okay. End of their turn. Reeves. Is gonna have to make a wisdom saving throw. Thirteen. If we all go down in a blaze of glory, Jacob, it's damn nice meeting you, brother. And he's gonna cock his crossbow. He's gonna go down swinging, unknowing that you have caused all this pain. As he does it, James will be like, oh, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think I would. Just as he as he goes. To 
<laughs> oh, he's going to shoot the big knoll that's up there with you, Betty. Let's see what you Don't got. Miss! She yells down. <laughs> and he's gonna get inside the, the stagecoach, roll the window down. <laughs> oh, no. Poor boy doesn't even know that Hobbs is dead yet. <laughs> oh my God, this is tragic, dude. Jimmy the Null currently asleep. What is your spell save DC, Nelson? Ooh. Actually, this isn't a spell. This is just you being you. So I'm going to <laughs> allow you to use your intelligence or your charisma modifier plus your proficiency doubled. Okay, wait. So your proficiency bonus right now is uh, plus four. So it's plus eight. four, so plus eight. You may use intelligence or charisma. Uh, intelligence for sure at 19. So your intelligence is a plus what? Uh, plus four, sorry, just the modifier, got it. Okay, so plus four, so you have a plus 12, so it will be eight. Oh my God, okay, so it's a DC 20. Concentration Ooh. you have in your mimicry. All right, here we go. Con saving check to wake up has to be a beat a DC 20. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. oh! Dang. It was oh. so good. Now, here's how I'm gonna rule this. Cause you got a nat 20. They're gonna pop up next round. They're gonna stay asleep for this turn. End of Jimmy the Knoll's turn. Biddy, it is your turn. Can I just say that, oh, this wasn't a spell. This is all you or something. I can't remember what it exactly is you said. She got on a shirt, dude. <laughs> was, that was kind of beautiful. So in normal Biddy fashion, she would usually just switch places with her echo, but everywhere there's fire. <laughs> so instead, you're not wrong. She's gonna pull her echo up here on the other side, and um, <laughs> we're gonna do our best <laughs> to attack it. <laughs> Twenty-two. And I'm gonna oh. go ahead and roll from my. Does that not hit? I just realized that these other other knolls are not in the initiative yeah, order. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. They're great there. <laughs> <laughs> They're just rooting them on. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. They're for support only. Notice it later. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm assuming those both hit. Yep. And then I am uh, gonna be doing Unleash Incarnation on my Echo. And I will roll for her. Does 19 hit? 19 does hit. Okay. And she gets a bonus action too, right? Or no? I don't remember. Is Let me look at things. Use your bonus action to move your echo up. That's right, that's right. Okay, now let me roll the modge. <laughs> that's 20, 35. Let's go. Hmm. That's all it did? Oh, okay, I was like, <laughs> 
that. No, I'm gone. I'm gone as fast as I can, Betty. For God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> oh man. Still took a quarter of that nose damage away. <sighs> um. <clears throat> <laughs> um What would you like to do, Biddy? I mean I'd like to live. Crying is a free <laughs> action. <laughs> will it like leave me alone? Like will it feel sorry for <laughs> Roll Lap before. away at the tears. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Am I nope. able to do my extra attack or no? Because I already used a special. I don't. I don't know how that works. If you're allowed to use two specials. No, you attack. Uh, you attack three times whenever you take the attack action. Currently at level eleven, so you've taken your three swipes with a longsword. Uh, you would you would be uh, using your action surge to take yeah. three swipes again. Bet. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. I hope they work. Twenty. Twenty will hit. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four will hit. Ooh, twenty-two. <laughs> twenty-two will hit. Sorry, she's trying to live right now. I don't blame you one bit. <laughs> Eight. Uh, 12. 20. 35 again. Damn. That consistency, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you come so close, and they are just bloodied. <laughs> oh, she's like slicing at him. She's going to yell down, Rapes, this is how you do it! <laughs> 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 just very upset. That some, he completely left her there. <laughs> some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's got blood splattering all over her face. She's like Xena Princess Warrior up there. <laughs> you said like slow motion hair in the wind. <laughs> but her glasses are like getting covered in blood. And she's trying to wipe it away. <laughs> all right, Beautiful. I think that's an end for me. Oh, I'm so glad that went well. <laughs> Jacob, it is your turn. Uh, seeing Jimmy slump down in front of me asleep. Uh, is he just gonna intensify the heat on that, uh, that sword, that shadow sword? And then just, uh, his whole body will just ignite in flames as he takes on the form of his patron. And I'm gonna fly 30 feet straight up in the air. Um, and then looking around, I'm gonna cast, I'm gonna cast a fireball over here up top to catch all four of these uh knolls up 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 yonder i'm gonna position it further back so it doesn't catch bitty but um they all have to make a dexterity saving throw all right i'm gonna do this just to uh get the lovely template out Ugh. Shit. Oh, come on, man. Do that again. All right. Whew. Just, just, oh, I want a dexterity saving throw from yours with advantage, Biddy, on your echo. Uh, shouldn't even be touching her because I would be casting it back far enough. I have it back, I have it back far enough where 
if you move it to the side, then it gets Biddy herself. Whatever, I mean, you should be able to move it up back one and then over, right? It's a okay, campfire. It's all right, we good. Yeah, yeah, she good. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this time. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. You're gonna be safe, but yeah, I did. I did get it there where it's like it's just just there. It doesn't like placing those uh, outside the map. I'm sorry about that. All right, sweet dexterity saving throws for all these. What's your uh, save? Oh my god, twenty two. Dear God, let's go. All right, big knoll first. Gonna fail. Oh, these are awful. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god at all four fail or just that third one was even a decent roll and it still fails my goodness that's crazy yeah and these aren't uh yeah okay these are these are straight up so they don't they do not okay so they don't have any 30. advantage on there. So yeah, they all fail. Let's see that beautiful beam footage. Flying up 30 feet and just casting a giant fireball. There it goes. But he's going to just close her eyes and just be like, ah. 39 points of fire damage. Let's go. Just as you come up here to escape the fire damage, it's like a giant fireball in your face. <laughs> oh, <thank> God. <laughs> Uh, but he's sorry. traumatized right now. <laughs> <laughs> like a Michael Bay movie when this thing goes off. <laughs> Please describe their death with that DTD. All of them? No, you got the big guy. Oh, okay. oh yeah, if that thing just hits, it's uh, it's it hits further back and it takes a moment as it turns around just to look at this like wall of fire that just comes in and just and just burns off its face and it just like turns back around to Biddy and its entire face is just melted and it slumps over. She's gonna mumble mm -hmm. and be like, oh, you look like Jacob suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> this poor Noel got done like Gromash Hellscream, man. It's crazy. Whoa. Big flames. Let's get it. Anything else for yo turn? No, that's it. I am I am gonna be so thirty feet, but I'm gonna kind of position myself right above Jimmy here as I as I'm kind of coming up. That's it. By Thomas. Yes. Bone Saul is ready. <laughs> All the way back at the front, it it is going for the largest targets that there, and it sees that juicy owl bear, and it cannot resist. No. Excellent choice, sir. <clears throat> how how bloody well dare it? And it is unbelievable. Going to take one of its four swipes. At advantage. 27 is going to oh. hit. Oh 26 God. will hit. 20 points of slashing, 10 points of poison. Oh, you poor sweet, sweet Albert. No. <laughs> Yeah, it's not doing so good. Seven. Wait, what are Arthur and them doing up there? Do they even know what's going on? Probably Shit, shitting they, themselves at they, this point. They did not get in the initiative either. Yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. lollygagging like, oh, what's all that noise? <laughs> they are petrified. They are And we're back! Let's go! All right. Jacob's fireball took out the entire internet. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. 
It didn't have to happen. That's why you need to install a firewall. <laughs> okay. No, All right. Calm down, bud. Let's see if uh, rare drop side is back up. We're blaming Mudcat, right, on everything? Hunt it. That's what I was planning on. Question is, if I had done nothing at all, would we still be fighting Nulls? What would you do? Freedom wasn't free. I will pull up Brahm's character sheet, then we're gonna be ready to rock. Hells yes. Booyah. All right. Back to Bone Saul's turn as he downs and rips that owlbear open wide. <laughs> Arthur and poor sleepy shawl here in the front. I'm gonna let them roll. Well, it really doesn't matter. They're all gonna be back in the order anyway. Good luck, boys. First claw going in towards Hobbs. I'm sorry, not Hobbs, Arthur. 27's gonna hit. Oh. DTD. That is a another perma as they're ripped to shreds. And that final attack with the bite over here on poor Shaw. It's gonna hit. Oh wait, what happened with Ricky? Albert's dead. No. And so is Shaw. Permadeath as well. It's just carnage up in front. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, with three kills, three extra attacks. It also gets extra 30 feet of movement per each kill. Oh my God. What? what? We're dead. Oh, uh, you're lucky there's two horses up there. And that's where it's going. Two horses, that's another two kills. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> First claw. Did it attack the carriage instead? <laughs> Some distraction clocks in there. <laughs> oh, let's go. We got a nail one. It's going to get its claw hooked up, stuck in that bridle. <laughs> It's just going to try to bite down on that first horse as it's stuck there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One horse just... <laughs> just another explosion of blood up in the front. But there is one horse left. Brahm's turn. The note... There's just carnage. There's no way to tell what's going on. I know that we got this knoll in front. Sleeping, so I'm gonna spin around back. I'm gonna swing my Warhammer at the knoll back behind us. Ah! Come on, baby. No whammy. A reasonable degree of whammy. <laughs> <laughs> a reasonable degree. <laughs> All right. Nine bludgeoning. Five points of the radiant from his blessed strikes. Shield is still hanging out over here. Hovering uh, for Toph. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll a perception check. 
God, it's just all flames up there. I don't even know if Biddy is still alive up there. Oh, shit. I'm gonna hunker down with us. So I'm just gonna cast a uh, healing word for you, Toph. Thank you. I'm actually not too bad right now, but I guess all it takes is one hit, so I'll take anything. Concerned with the carnage is where I'm at. Fair enough. Go ahead and cast a uh, third level healing word. See if I can crit on it. Not. All right, here it comes. Sweet. Perfect amount. Let's go. I'm going to stay locked in uh, where I'm at. Toph, it is your turn. Sweet. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna leave this sleeping one alone and look at the this downed one right here in front of me. He seems like an easy target. Yeah. I don't uh, feel like struggling. All right. I, I feel a shot has been called and it scares me. <laughs> I am going to use that spear that I had taken from the other prone one and use that first. Just jabbing it into it twisting it around a little bit. This seems like the easiest way to handle things. Uh, oh, I need to hit a refresh. That's my bad. That didn't show up for me. Hold up. Same TBH. Yeah, yeah. I was like, why is the beam pause thing still on for me? Hmm, because I forgot to hit the reset. Okay, let me try this again. Did I like it this time? Good. 25. Does a 25 hit? 25 hits. Sweet. Love We're going to swing with a, a advantage because it's prone. Oh, sweet. I love, I love that even more so. Okay. Well, at least it still hits. That's all we care about. Okay. And this should actually be a 1d8 plus 5. That is going to be 12 points of damage, piercing damage for that first hit. Just stabbing it in and kind of squishing it around a little bit. <laughs> All right, 12 points in the first. It's All looking right, rough. So I'm leaving that stuck in, kind of like spearing him to the ground, pinning him down there. I'm going to use my great sword for the second one. Teeing off. That first one's a 14, but we have advantage because he's still prone. We're going to ignore that one and go with a yeah, 24. Yeah, 24 is going to hit. Nice. That's the one I like. Yes. Yes. There we go. First part of that is going to be 12 plus. I'm going to use my paladin thing that I do. Smite it, oh mighty smiter. Yes, 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 yes. That's overkill. No, it probably won't be. 11. 11 smites. 11 points. Let's go, DTD. Describe their demise. Yes! This sword coming down, slicing at it, and almost as an afterthought, Toph thinks, oh yeah, smite. And just like the hand of his mother appears to enact this with 11 slaps across the face until it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage. Very rough. Well done, Hulk Smash. Thank you. Got a Thank pulp you. culture TikTok reference. <laughs> Wait, is that the first time we've seen like your mom manifest like that? Yes. Yes. Nelson Likey. <laughs> we checking out my mom, Nelson. <laughs> What's to be your new dad? <laughs> I'm done with this. I can't Listen, take it. My dad may not be dead, okay? It's the yeah. You can just take that role. <laughs> right, though? Yes. Noel on fire. My new band. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to head straight towards you, Betty. 
<laughs> 26 to hit with the spear. What do you mean that doesn't hit? <laughs> 17 points of piercing damage. Good God. Mm. Are we missing health balls on those three, by the way? I will highlight them. Thank you. And it's going to go in for a bite attack. Oh my God. This is, it's gonna get grim. Nine points of piercing. I'm getting real scared here. All right. It's gonna stay where it's at. No one fire number two running towards you, Biddy. <laughs> Going in with its spear first and then biting again. Eighteen points of piercing. Oh my gosh! Oh, they're rolling so high. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, they have. I'm, I'm down. Oh no! Third knoll. And Biddy is dead. As it snaps and rends. <laughs> now. Biddy. Mm -hmm. You have two things at your disposal right now. Yeah. You have a strength before death card. You also have a divine intervention As your DM I would suggest playing them all well, Let's do it All uh, right, which one would go first? Surrounded we by gnolls You have one action. You have three swings before you go down. Uh, do you mean I need to roll to hit or? Yes, you will roll to hit. You can choose to attack the same one. You're gonna choose to attack all three, does not matter. Okay. 27 to hit, which one is it going to? Uh, let's do the one right here. We'll do... 17 points of slashing damage. Which one are you choosing to hit? Um, probably gonna do the same one. Try to take it out. Same one. Nine. Nine points of slashing damage. Thirteen on that one. Thirteen. Three points over the ten that it had left. As your strength before death is able to kill one of the gnolls, as you spin back around, as you see the other two rushing for you, spears going <clears throat> and right before you lose consciousness as you're being surrounded by these flame gnolls. You reach out with a prayer inside your head. First question, Sam. Yeah. What does Biddy believe in? I 
I can help in assistance. Yeah, if, I actually never thought about this for her. If you want to Damn. think about the values that Biddy appreciates the most, I can direct you to a deity. Does not have to be one. Biddy can believe in herself, friends, family, in particular values, Being whatever she time. leans into during times of strife. I feel like she would believe in herself. Okay. Do you play your divine it. intervention card? Yeah, as she's going down and she's feeling, you know, blood's going everywhere and her life is like draining, the color draining from her face and she can just feel so weak. She's gonna just remember everything that she's come from and all that she's done and try to pull that last bit of inner strength and tell herself, don't give up yet. And we'll try. I'm going to add your proficiency bonus to your level. We're currently level 11, correct? Yeah. Wait. 10, 10. Yeah, 10, 10. Oh, 10. Oh, hey, you 12. know what? 12. You've been... 12. We're level 12. Level 12. Are we? <laughs> no, we're 10. Yeah. I've been giving you an extra swipe anyway, so we're... maybe we'll live to be 11. Oh. We'll get our Hogwarts letters. Finally. I need you to choose 14 consecutive numbers. <sighs> Let's go 64 to 78. 64 to 78. Bottom right hand corner is the D20 or the D100 roll. Is that the double looking one? Yeah. Do you have a lucky card? I believe yes, I do. You may use your lucky card. You will have to accept this roll. 64 to 78. As you do your best and you take that last swing believing in yourself that you could spin around and take out these knolls you drop unconscious and then die Jacob. No, I'm sorry. It's not your turn. Uh, Echo disappears. These two gnolls. I will give one of them the chance to move forward since they have killed. They can still move 
and go and take an attack. One of them is going to leap down towards you, Jacob. Ooh. Is that at me? Yes. Is that at Throne? No, it's. They're down there with you. I'm 30 feet in the air. Ah, oh, you're 30 feet in the air? We'll go with that spear throne then. Okay. That'll be 20. 34 points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, is he, where's he gonna be at? He's gonna be right here on this rock. Elish Rebuke. Elish Rebuke. Deck save. God, it saves. It'll take, uh, I think, half damage on this. Yes, half damage. 20 points of fire damage. Oh, my goodness, we got full on that. End of its turn. Top of the order. Noel all the way over here. It's gonna stab with its spear twice at you, Toph. And it does have pack tactics now. So it's gonna roll one more time. 24 will hit. 15 points of piercing. Okay. 12 points of piercing on the second. Okay. Xanarin, your turn. Having just seen uh, the gnolls cut down Biddy. I am going to get a little bit furious and I'm going to start flying over in this direction. Uh, and I am going to be throwing some knives over at these two here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open Not up trying with... to be evil, but your last foes oh. you were encountering are on the other side. But you are an owl with a head on the swivel. I need you to roll a perception check. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, that will also be at disadvantage because of uh, one tier, uh, two tiers of exhaustion. Correct? Yes. Let's see what we get. 15. You will hear those last cries and see Biddy laying dead on the ground on top of the hill. You can't necessarily tell when an owl has its eyes wide with shock, but the inflection of Xanarin's ears and the sudden even further widening of the eyes and the sudden intense glare directed in the direction of the gnolls would be enough to let people know exactly what's going through Xanarin's head. And without saying a single thing, without even much time for anyone to realize that it would be happening. A wing has already moved and a knife has already been thrown in the direction of that knoll that is weaker and that has uh, moved closer.
22 so will hit. If I'm not mistaken, it's no sneak because uh, no flanking, no one's nearby. Yeah, no sneak. Okay. So that will be nine damage on that first one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with bonus attack. And that will be six. DTD. The knife that is thrown first sends the creature reeling as it pierces straight into the left arm. And it gets sent flying backwards towards one of the faces of rock and it's impaled on that. The second knife goes through its other arm, and both knives dissipate, being psychic, and it falls and slumps over next to its dead compatriot, bleeding out from the last two holes that have been left in it, still slightly charred, and very much dead. Go. That's good, that's good. Any movement? Uh, I already took my movement. Uh, I took 15 feet of movement. I was previously here, yeah. just above the knoll. So yeah, that's uh, end turn. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Drama got to be to a really excessive point. No. Yeah. Do you need to delete the fireball? Oh my god. What a menace. What a menace. I'm eating that fireball. I have so many Windows errors to look at now. All right, we're reconnected. It's going to be a fun video to put back together again. <laughs> Great googly moogly. Whew. All right, fix this thing one more time, shall we? There's something my PC doesn't like at the moment. At least it's not a full restart.
All right. Cool. Back up on both channels again. Big Knoll. Alright, this big knoll here is going to take a two swipes at Braum. Twenty-three, twenty-three. My AC is twenty-two. That's going to hit. 11 points of piercing is going to go down with a chomp. That'll hit as well. Twenty three points on the big bite. Good God. end of its turn nelson it is your turn doing nelson can't hear you can't hear you can anybody hear me nobody can hear me <laughs> oh my god dude oh this is like the worst day ever. Oh my god. Dude, if it can if it can break, it's it's broken. This session. All right. Um All right. I'm going to shutter discord, bring it back up. There's no evidence of this. It's never happened. Ma my god. <laughs> the most Hey, we hear you, bud. The he most lives. scuffed D D stream ever. Let's go. Alright, so Hell did you guys yeah. uh do you guys hear anything of what I said on Big Knoll's attacks? He hit me. Rolling and we're like, I think he's fighting us. <laughs> okay, well he, he single thing. beat me down. Uh and now it's Nelson, it is your turn. Okay, um, how vertical is this cliffside? Can I go ten, for 10 feet right here. Okay. 
can I go? I, can I go there? Do I need to roll a thing to get up there? How are you gonna get up there? You tell me how you're gonna get up there. You're right now. You're at. Uh, you have two points of dis or two points of exhaustion. One. One. Okay. It. So you have your full movement. Yeah. You don't have flying, so you're no, you're literally I you're talking about climb. climbing. Right. Um. Yeah. Can we can we attempt to climb here? Absolutely. Then, Athletics. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take you five. It's gonna take you ten feet to get here, and then you'll you'll do your climb another ten feet. So give me an athletics check to get up this rock. Oh, excuse me, rock face. Oh, just a minus one. No big deal. Whoa. <sighs> From bad to worse. There. You try to scale and you slide back down. Okay. 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 Oh my god. One of these horses is dead, right? Um, yes, this this horse is dead. Sorry, there's so many dead things. I haven't been able to keep up with them. Yeah, I know. Everything's everything's so dead and delicious. Oh, oh my um, God! Actually, oh my, okay, this rubbing I've, it in and then is really rubbing it in. Jesus Christ! Delicious. What? <laughs> well, it's, I, it's, when it when it killed Nelson. when it killed that horse it got an additional pack. So the other horse is more than likely dead as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, just to go ahead and clear that up. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Very cool. Imagine the horse doesn't magically have 20 AC. But oh, one, one, 30 HP, oh my God. One hand is stuck in this bridle still over here from the nat one. So it is currently grappled. Uh, even though it won't be for very long. Oh, that's yes, right. both of the draft horses are dead. Oh my god. Dead horses. Who's gonna ride your this went to horses. shit real fast. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Um, okay, so I need line of sight for my most of my spells. So we are going to get started with the animating. Uh, we are going to cast animate dead on this null here. All right. Rice, rice my chicken. And then I think I get to direct it as a bonus action, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna send it against the, uh... Mm -hmm. I want it to fight so many juicy choices. <laughs> I want it to, well, it can't, yeah, it can. I want it to fight this guy here. All right. When it raises, does it use uh, zombie zombie property, or does it use its its previous? So uh, on this level, you get to choose uh, zombie or um, skeletal. So we'll go zomb. Zombie no. Yeah. 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 So and it's going to it's going to take my command, which will follow until it doesn't exist anymore, which is to fight this null. And All right, it goes on the end of your turn. I think that's my turn because I fell. So yeah, we're good. All right, this thing uh, will attack. I'm going to give you control over it. Actually, uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to go to the extras on your D&D Beyond sheet, and I want you to put zombie inside there. Wait, where do I see? Oh, there it is. Yes. Uh, I see none. Manage? Oh. Yep. Manage, and you'll have to search for the type. Yeah, category. Category is, uh, summoned or miscellaneous uh unsure 
my god, there's so many things. Just use it as a summon. Yeah. All right. Uh, just put it all the way to the bottom. I'm on it. And Kevin, the zombie Noel is reborn. Kevin too. Kevin. This time with 40% more Kevin. Is it Kevin Nolan, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have control now. You can roll your slam attack. Okay, I just got it added. Okay, cool. Slam. But da da. Oh, I just I didn't roll to hit. Does that have to hit? Melee weapon attack plus three to hit. Here's the hit. Let's go. It hits. 16, and then we'll just use that previous roll nine damage or four bludgeoning, I guess. Yes. Now, when these things hit, do they have to make a... Nope, that's it. This is all they do. All right. Meat shield is up. Any... Uh, no, got your... Use your movement. That's it. Nelson's... Where, where Nelson's at? Nelson is there. Noel that you just hit though, it is distracted by Kevin 2.0. It's gonna use its spear and then it's gonna bite. 22 is gonna hit. Twelve points of piercing damage on Kevin. Not looking rough. It's gonna go in for its bite. Oh, oh my god. But it's better than somebody else. Oh then uh it's going to fire off undead fortitude. If damage reduces it to zero, it makes a constitution saving throw. A bam. Alright, with it doing uh let's see here. How many hit points does it have left? It's got oh, ten, so it's a twenty. Oh, yeah. 21 points after death so it's a dc5 plus you gotta roll a nat 20 for kevin to stay alive it's a 20 dc of 26. it's okay and kevin is back in the grave but you stopped somebody from taking that damage we did end of its turn it's gonna stay uh it's gonna move gonna keep moving over where it's at reeves oh my god poor reeves he's seen everything go down on biddy's side He's gonna he's gonna get out and he's gonna run up there. Athletics just needs a 10 because he's got some stair steps over here. Oh god. No! Oh my god. It just oh gets my god. It just gets worse and worse. Oh <laughs> my boy. fucking god. Good night, everyone. <laughs> As he is laying down prone and as he busts his ass and he's laying there he gets him <sighs> now i can't even do that he's gonna shoot his crossbow at double disadvantage from where he's laying at as he tries to run up why it's just a like one in 16,000 chance. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Took away his nat 20. 18 good, hits. Though. Oh my god. That's really real cool. good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two points of piercing damage. Come on, you fucking know! Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! <laughs> the age. 
still good good my god he's gonna hit <laughs> four points of piercing damage Reeves gonna end his turn prone outside the carriage Jimmy waking up from his slumber it's gonna pick up right where he left off Jimmy's gonna send a claw in the toff and he's gonna bite towards Braum oh 23 shield is still up by the way get you damn it let's go it's low eight points it's gonna bite 23 luckily with my shield that's up let's go back up to 24 hot shit no damage there Jacob it is your turn hmm. I would definitely have seen Biddy go down right yeah you've been looking up right. in this okay. direction the entire time I will bonus action misty step right here and then I will I will blast a scorching ray at this knoll so that'll be Is that oh, a nat 20? That is a nat 20. Let's go! Nat 20. 20. Nat 20. Oh my god. Second one's a 29. Finally. Third one is a 27. I, so. I would I would go ahead and just uh see the damage on this first that the contacted with the 20. We'll go from there. You may need to redirect those. Um did I not roll the damage on the 21? Uh nope. Nope. Okay. Let me do it there then. Oh yeah, I did. It was 21 on the critical up here. And then the second was 11. And then... Where do you see these? I don't see... You're not I, seeing these in the list? Oh, wait, no, I see it. I see it. It's the 9 and 12. Uh, it's, I... I don't know. 12... I roll damage. Uh, okay. Okay, I got so it. I, I see it. I see it now. Critical. Okay. Okay, so I see it now. 11, and then ignore that third one because then it would be. Oh, God, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't calculate if you keep doing it. I, I gotta go off the sheet, so you gotta give me just a second. It's 44 points of damage total. Yeah, but I gotta break it down so I can see if you get your third for free here. Give me just a oh, second okay. to go back up there. Ah, shit. 12 or 21 then 11 then 13. all right 21 and 11 you got your last ray the first two are gonna take it down okay uh then i will just over the shoulder pop one at uh jimmy assuming a 27 hits 27 will hit for 13 damage um As I look at Biddy, is she, do I can I tell that she's dead? Dead? Oh yeah, she's identifiably dead. She is in bad shape. I haven't moved yet. Hmm. this guy this guy dies right so i will 
I will pick up her body if I'm allowed to do that. Um, too many pieces. Too many pieces? Yikes. Meaning you're going to be leaving her, behind her body parts pieces. I don't want to go any further than that. Oh, the, too many pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get. Yep. I get what you're saying. Their um, appendages are still attached, cool. but there are too many. You get you get the drift. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying now. I didn't know what you meant. I thought you meant too many things. Um, okay, well, instead of that, then I, I wasn't going very far anyways. I will I will walk into this fire here. Uh, this fireball. Just kind of, I assume it's just still a raging inferno. Yes. Um, I will walk into it and I will just look around in the fire and I will call out to my patron. I, uh, are you here? Just looking for her in the, in the flames. You need to, where are you? I need you. You have to be here. And I will just wait. Trying to reach out to your patron in the middle of battle. However, there is a massive fireball there. Five consecutive numbers. I will actually, I will do, I'm going to do seven. Cause I did 14 on Biddy. I'm going to reduce that to half is how I normally do it. Mm-hmm. So I will let you, since it is reaching out inside this fireball to get to your patron, I will give you the proficiency on it instead of just half your level. Okay. Seven consecutive uh, numbers. Thirty-one through thirty-eight. It's gonna go 95 to 100. Damn. Do you have a lucky? Do I have a lucky? That's a great question. I don't think that I do. I do not. So. I will just be here in the fire. Can I give him mine? Absolutely. With you trying to get up there and you hear him screaming out, trying to help Biddy. Don't necessarily even have to understand what he's doing to know that he needs help. You may send him your lucky card as your reaction. You have one last roll. You must take that roll. Okay. Consecutive numbers will be 31 to 38 again. Roll the hot six. Ah. As you scream out into those flames, your prayers go unanswered. Yeah, he'll just continue to, to call out and just, Where are you? I'll pay any price. As he just. Here's nothing. Roll a persuasion check with any price. Fourteen. I got a D ten. Twenty one. Twenty one. Noted. Bone Saul's turn. Mm-hmm. 
athletics check to rip his maul or his hand out. Oh dear. Oh lord. 30? Yeah. Very good. Very good at basketball. Bone Saul is going to bound forward. First claw attack at Utah. 19 will miss. Oh, God. Definitely hit. I don't still see the shield up. That is still up, though, right? Shield is still up between the two of us. All right, cool. 18 points of slashing, nine points of poison. Six points of slashing, 26 points of poison. I am down. Um, yep, I am, I am down. Claw on Brom. Claws across and he's just bleeding out on the ground. Matting his fur. 3rd claw will miss. Goes to bite Brom. Thirty-eight points. That's the end of Bone Saul's turn. Oh my. Oh good lord. Well, first use my bonus action to channel divinity. Helm, we're in a real bad spot. And I know I just called on you not too long ago, but it needs you and I need you now. I have 50 points to hand out. I will hand you 25 toff. I can hand out no more than half to a single person. I will give myself the other 25. I will twin spell 
for me and you. A fourth level, pure wounds. I'm gonna roll to see if I can crit on it. Forty-eight plus ten. Oh. Thirty-five points for each of us. As you come back from being unconscious. <gasps> And then as a final piece before the end of my turn. We need you one more time, Helm. I will use my innate channel divinity. All right, I get to choose 14 consecutive numbers. We're gonna go 44. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go 44 to 58. Don't fail me now. light that has been emanating around the campfire that we've been at begins to shine even brighter as it opens up as the rock face <laughs> begins to shake underneath me and Toph's feet as you can see it line out the sign of the watcher first a triangle and then the eye blazing in its mark we can see it shoots up as it like comes up from an elbow raising up forward you can see a hand from the rock face extend up and over scooping up even those who are down nelson and Xanran with the arm moving up and over as that cradle comes over the top. <laughs> Picking up Reeves and then in the base of its hand <laughs> as it jettisons up into the sky, <laughs> raising us 50, 60 feet in the air as it creates this monolith structure next to the highway. And you can see from the darkness that's over the top, just a beam dropping down from above, shining in the middle of the eye where Biddy lays. And Jacob, as you raise up above and up past out in the flames, and you look towards Biddy, 
where her body was in shambles moments ago. You can see the radiant beam from up above slowly piecing her body back together again. Unconscious, but slowly returning back to life. <clears throat> you see in here a subtle cough before a large, large wave of radiant energy sweeps over the rest of the land. You can see the trees bend back as this emits an almost like a concussion explosion. And as you look up towards the sky where this solid beam of radiant energy is coming down, you can see even the moon has slowly waned, no longer completely full. And that is where we will pick up next week on the top of this monolith. Out of combat, but alive. We'll be recording post questions here next 15 minutes. I'm going to let you guys take a break just for a short second. Love you guys. Thanks for coming along with the ride. We'll see you guys next week.